I'm not turning the cabana into a house. I don't know how I'm gonna do this because it's like, actually, I think it's the same size as the bouncy house, so, but I think I'm gonna put like something on the roof. I don't know if that's cheating or not, so we can have like a little balcony up there and maybe I can put like a lounge or something up there. I don't know if that's cheating, but it's still technically on the cabana. So, honestly, I don't know. I'm actually gonna be making this into like a fall theme or whatever because it's fall's coming up and I don't wanna miss it. Oh my gosh, it's so small. What the heck? Why is that so tiny? You ever seen like those white pumpkins in stores? I don't know why they still make those. That looks so hideous. Like why are pumpkins white? They're not supposed to be. Okay, so I think that's pretty much done. I'm just gonna add a. I'm just gonna add a little path and probably put some plants and some trees around. Spice it up a bit, you know. I always use stepping stones for a path. It's like really kind of weird. I'm just gonna use this fence all the way around the build. Like that, so we actually have some walls up in here. We're in a ladder on the side of the house right here. To maybe, I think I might put something like on top of the house. Just for... I mean, it's not technically cheating, but it's on top of the house. So. And I actually have a, like, a little tip if you don't have transforming tool. So just um, get a basic shape and resize it to the size of your build and get a rug or a carpet and you want to resize that as well and then once you have the rug resized just set it down for right now and take this and just put it all the way up because I can't place stuff on top of here but if I do this, I can. I'm gonna take the rug up here and then just delete this. And now you can place like stuff on top of here. Cause before I couldn't. Okay, so I have an idea. So since I can't like really place a fence up there cause it would look wonky, I'm just gonna build a wall. And like the part sticking out of the wall is like the fence, if that makes any sense. So, oh, that, that rhymed. I'm just gonna go like this and hopefully it looks right. And yeah, now I have a wall and a little balcony up there. Yeah, I still put the fence right there. So it's like, not like people can just barge into your house. Like this house is not even five by five, it's a two. My two. Like, what the heck? Anyways. So I really have to use up all of my space here by putting that thing up there. By putting a little balcony up here. Maybe I can turn it into something. I don't know. Maybe it can be our living room. Or I can have, like, a grill on the top. I don't really know. I'm putting the toilet over there. I'm gonna add... Let's add some shelves above the toilet to create more space. resize them because we don't have that much space i might have to put the toilet on this wall over here so i can put a shower over there let me see if a shower can fit like this is important if you're doing this you want to do the bathroom and the kitchen first because those are the most important things about this build i'm being so serious right now like if you don't have a bathroom or even a shower like what are you doing so now I don't know where to put the toilet. Like it can go right there. Wait, actually, that's perfect. It's a little snug, but that's actually perfect. Maybe if I add like uh, some pillars over here or whatever to like separate it. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I actually really like that. Just have to like color everything. Maybe linen. Thank <laughs> you.
One thing about this is that we don't have a sink in the bathroom, but that's okay because we will have one in the kitchen. So that's okay. We do wash our hands just in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, we can't we can't put stuff up here. My whole life has been a lie. I thought you could. Okay, that's embarrassing. Really embarrassing. I had some hand towels over here. I don't want to hang them up in the bathroom, so may maybe I can hang them up on the pillar if it was a little bit smaller. Honestly? Okay, that's... Why is this so perfect? Like, why is this coming together so perfectly? This is actually really cute. I recently just discovered the literally the cutest material ever. It's this one. And, like, I've never seen it before into like my a couple of videos ago and i was so amazed by it but for the bathroom i'm gonna be doing this one and i think the theme of this house is probably neutral colors but i was going for like halloweenish for the outside for the inside i have no idea what i'm doing so e either the living room is right here or the kitchen which i think the kitchen should go over here because we have two walls to put the kitchen on so I'm gonna put it over here. You know, you always wanna get the counter with the hole in it. So you can put stuff at the bottom or whatever. So I'm gonna put one of those right here. And just a right, should I put another counter right here? Actually, I don't think we're gonna be able to get into there. If I do that. Because how will you get into the bathroom? That's crazy. Okay, I might find a solution because you're not going to be able to fit into the bathroom unless, like, I put it right here. So, I wanted to put it on that wall, but it's okay. It's, it's totally, totally fine. So, it's going to be, like, a little tight squeeze to get around there. But, at least we have, we have something. Add a little microwave down here. I might have to move these down a bit because I want to put a TV like right here for the living room because the couch is going to be on the other side of the wall. I'm trying to find the smallest TV they have that you can put on the wall. Honestly, I might just have to put it on top of here. Okay, that, that looks fine. So to make it look like you were like out grocery shopping or whatever, you can like get a bag like this and just put the groceries inside of there. And I thought that was literally so genius. And put the groceries inside there like that. And they could just re resize the little thing. And like, that's literally so genius. It looks like I just went grocery shopping. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it in this house because I want to use this counter for something else. Since I have like all this space underneath this counter here, I'm probably going to put like an extra stack of blankets or like some slippers or some shoes. Just for like the look of it. Some shoes under there. Some extra towels or blankets. This is literally the best angle I'm going to get. Because I cannot see anything in that bathroom. Okay, maybe I can add a window right here because it's lacking something. Just like one of these. I'm gonna have to like resize it a bit. Or just put two. Okay, that's perfect. I literally use this sofa in every single one. I don't care. It's so cute. I mean, I can just have one corner of it. Honestly, it's not that bad. Okay, I do need to add some lighting into this build. I'm just going to add some, like, lanterns all around. Because I can't really place things. I can't really place a light in here. Up here, I'm just going to put a little bed or whatever, like a little mattress. And call it a day. Because I don't know why I built this up here, but I did. I got to lower these pillars so they're not sticking out. I'm going to sing two of these. 
and say up here is just like if you want to sit up here and watch the stars at night go for it that's what it is star watching yep that's what i'm gonna call it well, the component house is done and it costs around thirty thousand dollars that's actually pretty cheap considering my bouncy house costs around fifty two thousand that's actually pretty cheap but this is what it looks like so you have a pretty pathway walking up we'll first walk in there's a little couch right here it's only seated for one person so this is like a one person home no no more than one person max um you can watch tv or sitting on the couch or while you're like cooking or whatever or while you're brushing your teeth and then over here you have like some appliances and some slippers some extra blankets and you have to like kind of do some parkour to get over here but i made it and it's the toilet it's pretty nice mm -hmm. and this is the shower that i thought i would have to make outside because literally actually there's enough room i thought i would have to make like an out outdoor shower because i wouldn't have enough room in here but it fits and then we got some curtains you can actually pull these down and they're like spooky okay where they're supposed to be i don't know where they went and then you have to do some more parkour to get over here back into the main room but if you want to see the stars a little bit closer you can go out back climb up the stairs and just rest and watch the moon pass by stargaze a bit have the time of your life well that's the end of this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so i can see you next time peace